feel about your uh, performance fantasy football lineup that you have? <laughs> um, uh, subpar. I felt like I could get something over the green monster and it just never happened. I, I probably hit about 10, 15 feet up and I, I um, it was my best bolt, so that's all I got. But it was soft toss, so I didn't. I need the ball to come in fast so I can impact it and send it out. But it was a lot of fun. You know, in, in actuality, um, the players don't really see that side of me very often. I get out there and, and, and show them a different side of me, and, and we all had some good laughs, and they responded. You know, I, I don't worry about their ability to separate it. They see that side of me. They go out and play their best game on Friday night. You know, uh, that, was, that was a really good moment for all of us. It was a great series, and I was just glad that I could be a part of their, their fun and games and, and select their order. It was a lot of, a lot of fun for them. Uh, the last time I took BP, I think, was 16 or 17 in Houston, um, and that was regular live BP. And I, I know I went deep a few times. I was pretty stoked about that. <laughs> but um, this one just sprang up. I said it to part of the group that was um, that was putting together the draft and the, the the fun cues and fun parts of that draft. And they asked me. They said, "Would you be willing to do something a little bit different?" if it came down to it, would you want to take BP? And I, I okayed it a month and a half ago. And then really Thursday night, Friday morning, I got the call that said, yeah, you're taking BP tomorrow. I was like, oh my God, are you sure about that? So I fired away. I thought I broke down the swing. It was a pretty good swing, had the head down. Things were working pretty good. I was a 239 career hitter, hitter bear. Trying to launch balls over the monster. Soft toss though, not a pitched ball. So how close did you cut? I like maybe 10, 15 feet up the monster. That was it. Did you, did you ever hit one up there when you were coaching it? Uh, when I was coaching, no. But I took a lot of BPs there. I was a switch hitter. I spent all my BP hitting right-handed. I didn't play a lot. I was on the bench, so I could choose what I wanted to do. Um, so I spent all my time taking BP right-handed, trying to go deep over the monster. And I did a few times, for sure. Did you know which ball was for which person? Uh, yes and no. The beginning of it was just, I had 15 swings, 20 swings to get loose. We were trying to get the track men set up to see about the overall distance so you could determine how far the ball was going. I don't know what they decided. I just was the batter. And um, so I had about 15, 20 swings to get the track man set up. It wasn't working, so they were just going with the eye test. And for the first few, they were numbered 1 through 12, it would just say number 1 wham and then somebody flipped another ball number eight wham flip it and i would hit it the first ball that i found out i was hitting somebody said hey this is jock number five <laughs> and flipped it to me and i got tight and i popped it up <laughs> and now that was it the other one i remember was chiff um our clubby i like this is chiff's ball so i think chiff finished fifth but maryland had finished in first but it was fun they were all out there just whooping it up in left field where the balls were going and it was a fun time. Jock wasn't too happy after the fact that No, he finished 12th. I popped it up, and I knew it right away. I'm like, I ain't going to hear the end of that. But he said he's, he wants either one through four, or he wants to get down near the tail and get two picks in a row. So I did him right. Um, how, how important is stuff like this to do as a manager during the season just to keep things loose and keep you guys having a good time? Yeah, it's, it's, um, I, I think it's needed. You know, I talk about balance here all the time days off, take advantage of it, spend it with your family, friends, children. Um, so this was a totally different element and they see the side of me from time to time. Um, we have a mid-season uh, team party at our house and they see a different side of me there. It's, it's a cornhole tournament and I, I think it's nice to see the human side of, of your manager. Um, in years past, the managers I played for is very guarded. I don't even know what kind of car they drove. I don't know where they lived. I didn't know if they were married or anything like that. But the game's changed a little bit. So when I can give them um, that side of me, I think it refreshes them to see that I'm a human being at the end of the day. And there's a good, there's a, there's a nice balance there. But they know that you know they have responsibility to do on the back side of that. It te seems to work out very well. So this is something you don't think Sparky would do. Sparky would have never done this in a million years. No <laughs> chance. Not a not a chance. Not a chance. He would have laughed at it. No way. No way. We all silly like the mayor. 